So Manny, a uh, big fight coming up here. Uh, it has uh, implications on the featherweight title too. Uh, g give me your thoughts on going up against this guy. I mean, I'm very excited. I can't wait for Wednesday night. Fight Lena Garcia, I'm ready to go. I mean, I worked pretty hard for 10, month, 10 weeks camp. I had a bunch of good guys rolling with me, similar to his style. I can't wait, ready to go. What do you think about uh, Leonard's style? Give me your thoughts on, on you know, the way he fights. And Leonard's a good fighter, man. He's been around for a long time. He fought UFC, he fought WC, he fight for the belt. So, I mean, he's a gamer. I gotta be ready for him. Not 100%, 120%. And everybody knows that he's one of those guys that he's willing to trade shots with anybody. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> you gotta be ready a, for that, He's right? a brawler, I gotta put my hands up, chin down, and just go for it, you know, start from there. You know, they, they say he hits hard, but I can hit harder. What's it been like being at, at your natural weight now? Like in the UFC, you were competing at 155. Um, how, how do you feel at 145 in the WEC? I mean, I feel very comfortable, to be honest with you, because 55ers were way too heavy for me, because I only walk around like 160, 165 most, and the day of the fight, most I've ever been is 160, 161. Even my last fight against Thiago Tavares at 55, he outweighed me like 25 pounds, so I felt like it was unfair for me, you know what I mean? So I'd rather be, you know, fighting a 45ers, and have a little advantage to the, the day of the fight because I can be 160. Why, why should I be 160, fight 45ers, and be 160 pounds, fight 55ers? So it doesn't make sense. Be where you're at, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is per perfectly natural way for class for me. When you look at uh, the champion in, at featherweight, it's uh, Mike Brown. He's fighting on the same card. Um, he seems like he's a 170 pounder. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, about he's, him? He's, 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 a, he's a pretty big dude. You know, he cuts a lot of weight, but you know, when when I, when I get to that point, you know, I can you know I can have a lot of a lot of wrestlers, a lot of good guys, a lot of big big name guys that can you know I can they can help me out with that. But first, I gotta go through with Leonard, then find out if I'm fighting Belfort or not. And is uh, just another question too: Is Karen Derabedian is he with you guys? Too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a next talent, you know, from our dojo. Mm -hmm. I mean, people don't know him that you know he's whatever. He doesn't have no name, this and that, but he's he has good talent. Let me tell you this much: He doesn't. He's not gonna be afraid to stand up with uh, Rob McCullough, Rob McCullough, or anybody else in the WEC. I, I guarantee you that he has hands, he has kicks, he has grappling, he has wrestling, judo, everything. He's a well-rounded fighter. And I, I talked to Rob too, and uh, he's pretty good friends with Carl and. You know, he's, he says, uh, you know, hey, you guys are, are buds, but you got to do take care of business. This, in is, the, this in is business. This isn't, I mean, if I have to fight my friend, you know, I mean, I'm not going to fight Carl for no reason because, you know, different weight classes, but this is business, man. We're here to fight. I'm not here to just, you know, put myself here and just, all right, I'm just here to fight. I'm here to, you know, I have a goal in here. I have, I guarantee you guys I have a goal. I want to go for the belt. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Good luck.